All right, got a fun little watermelon shooting video here. So we're going to shoot all these watermelons uh, with all these different guns and calibers. So we're going to start out with 22 long rifle, 380 ACP, 9 millimeter, 40 Smith and Wesson, and 45 ACP. You got a four inch barrel there, about 2.7 there, uh, 3.2, five inch, five inch. And here's the ammunition we'll be using. Uh, I did want to do FMJ and hollow point, but I can't afford $50 in watermelons right now. So we're just doing the uh, hollow points here, which is going to be more entertaining for everyone anyways. Uh, if I end up doing this a bunch in the future with different things, I will do FMJ and hollow point. But this is just kind of an experiment to see how this video takes off here today. So anyways, as you can see there, three are gold dot. I was trying to keep it um, all as the same as much as possible obviously you can't get gold dot for 22 long rifle 22 magnum they make gold dot but not 22 long rifle um, so what i'm going to be using here for the 22 agila super maximum hollow point because they make a flat nose version of this but this is a hollow point uh, so through pistols uh, this is about the most damaging round i've found as far as a hollow point goes and not speaking uh, fragmenting rounds or anything like that so that's why i selected that 9mm is going to be standard pressure, 124 grain gold dot. The, let's see here, that should be the 40. So 40 Smith & Wesson, standard pressure, 180 grain gold dot. And then the 45 ACP is a 185 grain gold dot. So for the center fire pistols, the only one that is different here is for the 380. I don't have any gold dots in 380. I've actually never even been able to find them locally. Obviously, you can find them online, but uh, so this is this is actually Underwood XTP Plus P. I don't know where it is on the box there, but these are indeed. That's uh, going to be on the. <laughs> I got to flip it up there. Uh, XTP Plus P 90 grain. Um, so that is the uh, smallest, wimpiest, if you will, centerfire uh, caliber. So I don't think we're doing too much injustice there to use a plus P round uh, for the 380. So right there you can see uh, plus P. Um, so that's going to be pretty comparable to a gold die in most calibers, 9, 40, 45. Uh, XTP bullets perform uh, pretty close to the way a gold dot performs. Um, in this 380 cartridge i have a hard time in my gel test getting 380 to expand and this was one of the few that actually expands uh pretty reliably and it's actually what i carry in my 380 so that's also another reason i want to use this like i said if i had gold dot 380 i would have used that but i do not um, i do have other 380 rounds that do more damage than this like more explosive damage um, but that i feel would have been an unfair comparison uh, so availability and that considered as well is why I went with this uh, for the 380. So anyways, we'll get these set up and see what each caliber does. All right, so that's going to be our setup there. I know some of you are going to gripe about the danger of setting on top of a concrete block there. Uh, but I am going to wear safety glasses, plus I'm going to be shooting from pretty much point blank range. So really, there's no chance that I'm going to accidentally strike the concrete. All right, here we go with the 22 long rifle. It's peeing. <laughs> That's not bad for 22. Like I said, those were, uh, of all the testing I've done, if, by the way, go check out all the gel tests in the 22 slash Rimfire playlist. Um, those hit pretty hard, so... All right. By the way, there's the wound channels from that. It just carved a trench through there and it made this all goopy. All right, 380 ACP. Nine millimeter. <laughs> ah. 
I got rained on. All right, so that 380 did hit good, but you can tell, obviously, nine millimeter, just way more powerful there. 40 Smith and Wesson. And now for the 45. All right, that'll do her. So uh, <laughs> hopefully we got some cool shots there. Um, I'm gonna do some two liter soda next, so we'll have that coming up. Anyways, appreciate you watching. Um, if you've been following the channel, I've been doing a lot of gel tests, 22, 380, 40, well, not so much 40, you're getting to that, uh, 9 mil and 45. Um, but I actually have not got to these gold dots yet, so we'll definitely have uh, the tests on the gold dots coming up. Um, but like I said, if you want to see any of the uh, gel tests, so I got the, all the 22 ones in the 22 slash rimfire playlist. And I've also made a 9 millimeter gel test playlist. Um, so for the others currently, eventually I'll be making a playlist of all of them once there's enough tests in all the calibers. Uh, for the others, just scroll through the channel. But anyways, as I said, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next one.